Ah, ça, ça. Mike's Daily Podcast. F- F- episode 1438. 1438, Mike Matthews is my name. Hi. Welcome to Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont, the last place on earth. And it's a Mike's Daily Podcast. Today, I will be speaking with Bison Bentley, Valentino, Madam Rutabaga, and get to the segment called Mike's Daily Podcast. The Wild That's Wild Files. I got to see someone I hadn't seen in quite a while yesterday. Mike's Daily Podcast. And he and I discussed that wonderful topic called divorce. Yes, something no one likes, of course. And we discussed how, well, we both had to get through it. And you know, there was a lot of things. And you know, I just knew it, that people, we, yet we're all different. Mike's Daily Podcast. We're all the same when it comes to divorce, having to process it and all. He comes from a religious background. Mike's So he thought that Daily Divorce was verboten. Podcast. Because of the whole thing in the Bible. Yeah. And the, the church believes that. And then I di- don't like divorce because, well, I come from divorced parents and I was hoping that I wouldn't have to be like them, you know, want to be different, want to be my own person, not follow their path. But in the end, oh, look who walked in. We both were like, well, I guess some in some ways things are better than when we were not, not that he when he and I were married, but when we were married to our respective other females. Look who walked in. Speaking of females. Hello, Michael Mashut, Madame Ruta Pega. Oh, yes, it sounds so sad about the divorce thing. Beautiful. Look who else walked in. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Ow! Wow, you guys are getting into a fight already. No, we're not. Ow. You keep funking each other on the head. No, we don't. Ow! Do you know that? Okay. Hillary, can you set the record straight? But I just want to set the record straight. And she's going to do that with her new book. Wow. Oh my god, no way. And here's today's podcast picture. Let's look at this picture. Right, can I tell you today's picture took me forever to find? I wanted to find a good picture with Basil and something to do with outdoors. And here he is playing in the water. Now, the people that just see this picture on Facebook and go, oh, there's Mike posting another picture of Basil the Boxer. They aren't going to know the following information, and that is he was playing in the bay over by Marina, I think it's called Peninsula Park, over in the San Leandro Marina. It's uh, actually posted earlier this week, Faro Point is, uh, I posted a picture from there. That was the one with the dark cloud and the interesting light in the sky. In fact, I think it was two days ago I posted this picture. So a lot of pictures come from this point, plosives. And so you don't, so you know this, but your friends or whoever that look at the pictures I post on Facebook don't know and they don't need to know. They're, you know, they're the kind of people that listen to my show for a little bit and go, Mike, I tried listening to your show, but you did a bunch of uh, cultural references. I had no idea what you were talking about. I heard that comment recently about my podcast. Well, here's the thing is if I'm making cultural references, you don't know, then that's, you must live in a cave because I really don't know that many things. I mean, I can talk about sort of some cultural things, but I know people that are very culturally in tune are listening to this and going, ha ha, Mike. No, he does not. He is not that tuned in. But I will tell you that I am tuned in to the uh, whole thing. With Basil the Boxer playing in the water. And there he is at MikeStillyPodcast.com. And he and I had a nice walk yesterday. Ah, 
It just makes my life just walking my dog. Isn't that weird? It is. And I did call my mom in Florida yesterday after all the angst I had on last show about the whole thing with the Irma and going to Florida and having, having to fly there. And, well, I'm not going to be there during the hurricane. I will be there in the aftermath. And my mom's like, don't, don't come. It's going to be bad. The destruction afterwards. And I said, Mom, I booked the ticket. I can't move it. She said, yeah, move it to a week later. And I go, Mom, there's, I can't. There's just so many. I've, I've got two jobs. And at one job, they're really cool when I take time off. Although it is, I have to train a whole bunch of people to do my, what I do in order for me to leave. But my other job, my part-time job, they had a freaking meltdown. When I said I wanted to take two weekends off, they flipped out. So I'm like, Mom, I'm committed. Let's just do it. And if anything, I can help you with any of the cleanup. Hopefully there won't be any cleanup. But, you know, I mean, I'm hoping the best. That, But I'm sure there'll at least be some leaves to rake or something. So we'll see. I will be a helping hand is what I'm saying for my mom in Florida. And I'm not going to be gone that long, so it's it's going to be a wonderful little vacation. Or may not be a vacation at all. At any rate, I'm going to go there and I will report back to you what I see in Florida after Irma. <sighs> Feels good to just... But You know what I can't do is uh, take a deep breath and count to three. When people tell me to do that, I'm like, no! And then, or I sometimes say, instead of no, I say, No, God, please, no, no, no. Mike'sDailyPodcast.com is a wonderful website to go to to see all the past podcast pictures and help out the show through the Amazon link. Click on that and buy whatever it is you're going to buy, and that helps us out. There's also the donate button if you'd like to help us out that way and get us uh, through PayPal. Uh, And apparently they're doing well in stocks, PayPal. Did you know that? Okay, good. And the Cafe Anyway characters will do a special personalized MP3 for the, for you. So I guess finally, in talking about divorce, it's everybody's experience is different. And I did not have kids with my ex-wife. And I do think that probably made things a lot easier. But... My heart goes out to everyone going through the divorce. But hopefully you don't have to go through it. If you do, my heart goes out to you. All right, let's get to this segment. There's a lot of wow things going on in the world, and it's the wow that's wild files. The wow that's wild files. So, if not all the natural disasters happening all at once at this time of our year, 2017, here's another one. A powerful earthquake happened late in the evening yesterday in Mexico. It killed at least 26 people, raising the number of fatalities after the governor of the state of Oaxaca said today that 20 people were killed in that region. The governor of Oaxaca, Alejandro Morat, said 17 of the 20 fatalities were in Huchitan, a town on Mexico's Tehuantepec Isthmus. An earthquake of magnitude of 8.1 struck off the southern coast of Mexico late yesterday, killing at least six people and triggering small tsunami waves, but no major destruction. The quake was apparently stronger than a devastating 1985 tremor that flattened swaths of Mexico City and killed thousands. But this time, damage to the city was limited. A number of buildings suffered severe damage in parts of southern Mexico. Some of the worst initial reports came from Huchitan in the Ochaca state, where sections of the town hall, a hotel, a bar, and other buildings were reduced to rubble. Rescue laborers, uh, rescue workers labored through the night to check for people trapped in collapsed buildings. Windows also shattered at Mexico City Airport and power went out in several neighborhoods of the capital, affecting more than one million people. So the other 
of course, a um, bit of disaster, well, weather disaster anyway, would be Irma. And it's hit already an island that Richard Branson was on, a private island. Uh, he survived it. His private island was not lucky. Richard Branson, big old billionaire, billionaire of the head of Virgin Group. Uh, and, you know, the Virgin Airlines, which I am not a big fan of. I used to be. And then they took my points away because I didn't fly with them for a year. And they're like, nope, you don't get your t- points. All your points are gone. All those flights, gone. So I, that upset me. But he posted on a blog on his website, Richard Branson, that the Category 5 hurricane caused devastation in the Caribbean in a traumatic time here in the British Virgin Islands. Hurricane Irma is continuing a path of destruction that brought the eye of the storm to Necker Island, Mosquito Island, and the whole surrounding area. I've never seen anything like this before. Whole area has been completely and utterly devastated. We're still assessing the damage, but whole houses and trees have disappeared. The doors and windows outside of the wine cellar where Branson and his team sought shelter had flown 40 feet away. He urges anyone in the path of the storm to immediately take shelter. All the teams situated on Necker and Mosquito are safe and well. We took shelter from the strongest hurricane ever inside the concrete cellar. Uh, our thoughts and da 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 go out to da 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 da. You know, he is always surrounded by beautiful blonde women. Is that a thing? Well, President Donald Trump, who I guess is blonde, uh, on the southern island of St. Martin, he had an 11 bedroom mansion he'd been trying to sell. It was torn apart by Irma. And he had been trying to sell the property. Uh, he lowered the price to $16.9 million from $28 million in August. Now I guess it's at $0 million. Hmm. Then, let's look at the path. Because all the media sites will not tell you because they're too busy telling you about devastation. Did, you know, you could just get lost in the headlines. And lost in weird logic there, There's this lady making the rounds On all the NPR type shows And talking about how Well the reason why there was so much devastation In Texas is because Texas doesn't know how to build things And we shouldn't give them any money Because they're just going to build all their houses Low to the ground and they're going to get flooded again Which You know on the face of it Can make sense But then she was talking about Yeah in San Francisco they're messed up because of the Bay Bridge When they rebuilt the Bay The Oakland Bridge That goes from You know Oakland to Treasure Island um, And then you know You go from Treasure Island To the city The city uh, That the part Where The Oakland Bridge Starts On the east side In Oakland Where there are The toll booths Apparently The Bay water Has gotten kind of high And May possibly flood Where the toll bridges are You know they're, I mean the toll booths They're pretty low and she's like, well, we shouldn't give money to them because uh, they don't know what they're doing over there in the Bay Area. And they should, you know, they got to put the toll booths way up on stilts. And that's how the global warming, da 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 da. So I don't know. Some of what she was saying is she sounds like she wants, I don't know where she's going to find all the money to build all the houses up to. Are we going to live like in Jetson's world? Well, all, every house is going to be so far up in the sky and, you know, we press a button and they raise up even higher. Let's go higher. Oh, now let's go lower. And finally, speaking of San Francisco, an estimated 143 million U.S. consumers could be affected by a cybersecurity attack carried out by Equifax, one of the nation's largest credit reporting companies. Normally, one of the first things victims are told to do is to go to a credit reporting company and request their records to make sure that there are no unauthorized accounts or charges on their existing accounts this time around. Experts suggest checking with Equifax rivals. That would be Experian and TransUnion. While there's no evidence of unauthorized activities in the Equifax credit reporting databases, the company said that there was a potential unauthorized access to information that it had stored from mid-May through July of this year. The information included names, social security number, birthdays, 
uh, the addresses, sometimes driver's license numbers. The hackers also got access to credit card numbers for around 209,000 consumers, plus certain dispute documents with personal information. Okay. Be extra careful about emails and links, they say. You should always do that and always change your passwords and always enable two-factor authentication and check your credit card and other accounts for suspicious activity. Don't just pay the bill. Look at what the, what did you charge this past. Sylvia told me about that and things she had encountered with some strange wackiness with credit cards. So, you know, that she didn't know what was happening and she had an inkling though. She had a suspicion. You should always trust your intuition, especially if you're a woman, because you have that thing called woman's intuition, which is very cool. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we go outside a cafe anyway, where we go outside a cafe anyway. I guess the last place on earth is where we are, and uh, or, oh, we're in Podcaster Valley Mont. And I think I am done for the week, my friend. I can't do anymore. I'm done with all my little inside cultural references and whatnot. But I want you to have a glorious weekend. I'll try to talk to you on Sunday and we have one more week before my vacation quote unquote um, what's it my rescue trip my relief trip that I'm going to go on so let's make it a good one a good week a good weekend and uh, next time it'll be Shelly Shuhart Floyd the Floorman and John Deere the Engineer Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews his podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.